Starting today's vlog a bit different, but mm, I can't wait to show you what just arrived. Look at this new iPhone 13. I was due an upgrade. This is my old phone, which I love so, so much. I really love the camera. I don't like the big square on the newer iPhones, but I was definitely due an upgrade. One of the main reasons I didn't change my phone earlier was you. <laughs> I love this Louis Vuitton trunk phone case so much and I didn't want to change my phone because of that because I wanted to wear it and it doesn't fit the newer models but guys I had to upgrade because I saw this color and I was like oh my god this is stunning. So this is the new Sierra blue and it is like a grayish blue. It's the perfect blue honestly. Look how perfect. Can't wait to find a cool phone case if you see something that you think I might like definitely let me know I really want to find a cool iPhone case and uh, I'm so excited to set it up I just got this so I'm gonna set it up now and start using it straight away apparently the camera is amazing so very exciting to try it out it has um, I think it was cinematic mode so my new vlogs better look like Hollywood films. <laughs> Finally a proper hello. <laughs> so I just got ready and I'm actually rushing so I don't have much time to speak to you guys. I'm going to explain everything in more detail later so you keep watching. But I am off to an Hermes private sale. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I'm dressed very casual because I know these sales can go a bit crazy. Um, so I decided to go a bit more cash. I'm wearing a Balenciaga hat. I wanted to show you my outfit quickly. This shirt I will link down below. It is my most worn shirt recently. It is like a tunic shirt. It's so relaxed and comfy and airy. It's perfect. And I love the tie detail with the belt on the front. You can do a bow as well, but I like them hanging like this. Also, guys, remember these leggings because I'm going to do a, a high street haul tomorrow. I'm going to show you what I picked up from Mango. <laughs> I think Mango is my new favorite shop, <laughs> high street shop. Honestly, their pieces are so good. I don't know how I've never shopped from Mango. Well, I have shopped from Mango before, but this time I'm so impressed and can't wait to show you what I found. So yeah, that I will show you tomorrow. But remember these leggings because they are my new favorite. They're so good. And I'm also wearing the good old Prada loafers. I really wanted to wear the new white uh, Hermes uh, trainers that I unboxed with you, the ones with the rose gold Kelly look, but it looks quite dark. I think it might rain. So I decided to be on the safe side and just, whoops, I just kicked my mirror <laughs> and wear the good old Pradas. And for bag, and as you can see, I also changed a few different hats, but I decided on the Balenciaga at the end. Um, so for bag, I'm not sure which one to go for. Um, I kind of want to take this because I haven't worn it as much, but also this is new. I think I've worn it only once since I got it, but I got it recently. And this will be more comfortable because it's crossbody. Okay, let me pack everything and let's go to an AMS sale. I'm gonna tell you everything about the sale. I won't be able to vlog or film. I do not want to get banned from any future AMS sales. So I'm gonna tell you everything later. Hopefully I can find some really good things. <laughs> um, and yeah, as you can tell, I'm having very high expectations. So hopefully I won't be disappointed. I really, really hope I can find some exotic orans because uh, I know they are around £600 on sale. <laughs> so most of the items are like 50% off, I think, and the ready to wear is even more discounted. So I hope I find some good things. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> By the way, before I leave, quickly I wanted to show you what I just packed. I just remembered to take my 
reading glasses because I can't see far. I'm so ready for this sale. Can you guys tell? In case the items are displayed, like some shoes or bracelets are displayed further away and I can't see. I have the glasses so I'll be able to see everything in detail because <laughs> I'm so blind I can't see far at all so all packed and ready to go I'll be vlogging from the new phone as well Hi baby! Hi! Oh my god guys, it is a nine o'clock. It is 9.15 actually. I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow because I am dead. <laughs> but it was a successful, very successful sale trip. I, oh my god, can't wait to show you. There will definitely be a hole. Say hi Yoshi. Do you want to eat? Are you hungry? Did you miss me all day? <laughs> These are my glasses. <laughs> hi guys, how are you doing today? So I just did my makeup and I actually filmed some clips so I can show you the new products that I've tried because I only tried new products and I'm actually so happy with how my makeup turned out today. I think it's very pretty and beautiful. I love the pink eyeshadows with the lipstick. This would have to be my new favorite lipstick. I am up obsessed with the formula with the color so guys if you've been watching my channel for a while you know how much i love nars i love their products especially their concealers so i went a bit crazy i was running low on concealers and i went a bit cuckoo <laughs> so uh here we have i used this i've never tried before so this is the first time i'm trying these uh, radiant creamy color correctors and I have two colors. One of them is, do they have names? Yeah, light and medium. Uh, so one of them is a bit more orangey. I didn't get much sleep last night, so my under eye area looked quite blue today. So I used the medium. And as you can see, there is no sign of my dark circles. I don't look tired anymore. I look very fresh. So I highly recommend these. They definitely make a difference. Apply them before your concealer and foundation to cancel out the blue slash gray dark circles so love those and then i used for foundation i used the nars a radiant what is it called a radiant here is the box this is the natural radiant longwear foundation love this foundation very comfortable on the skin it has really good medium buildable coverage really really great everyday foundation and it works really well with the rest of the concealers that i will show you next we have quite a few here i'm gonna show you i picked up my favorite radiant creamy concealer this looks like a lipstick when you open it so it has the same packaging as the uh correctors the what were they called oh my god the names the color correctors nars is definitely my number one brand for concealers i do have really bad dark circles i don't sleep very well so i need really good coverage concealers and then i also picked up these oh my god guys this is magic in a pot <laughs> magic concealer in a pot if you haven't tried these i have spoken about these as well before i uh, actually finished my one my one was almost empty so i repurchased my favorite creamy concealers these are very heavy duty and i definitely need those today i'll make sure i link everything down below as well for you to check out next i have the nars bronzer i have tried their bronzers before 
However, this one I haven't tried. I think this is a very popular color. Actually, this is in Laguna. It is like a really nice warm everyday uh, bronzer. It is not too cool toned and it's not too too warm. So it is really, really great in between shades. Then I used, I used this, which is, I have spoken about this before, but I never actually tried it on camera. So I used the Louboutin Beauty, the new refillable palette. It is like a trio palette. So it has a highlighter and two blushes. I used the pinky blush and I used the highlighting powder as well, which is a very subtle highlight. Everything Louboutin Beauty is so unique and it, the packaging looks so high-end. It is really, really great. Then I also want to show you these. I used these. I can't remember if I spoke about these sticks here on my YouTube channel. I definitely showed you these on my Instagram. This is what I used on my eyes. These are from Laura Mercier. They are from the new um, what was it called? Rose rose gold collection. These are the new caviar sticks and I have all the shades and they're all so beautiful But these are uh, these four I use the most. So my top favorite shades are uh, Bed of Roses. I apply this on my lids. Also on my lids. I like to use strike a rose um, then in the inner corner to open up the eye, that's what I'm wearing today. I am wearing this shade Wild Rose. It is like a champagne-y, very beautiful um, color. And then this is a darker purple shade. I use this um, on the bottom lash. And this is Rose Thorn. These are my top favorite four shades, but they are all so beautiful. I have, as I mentioned, all of them. But these are my top ones so I wanted to mention. And last but definitely not least, I have two lipsticks. One of them I'm wearing and it is a must. The other one I haven't tried yet. I wanted to try both on but I, I applied this one first and now I don't want to take it off. So I'm gonna show you the other one. This is uh, Bridget. So this is the other shade. I haven't tried this yet and I'm not going to try it on guys because I really love this one that I'm currently wearing. But this is another very beautiful um, neutral everyday, slightly darker and more pinkier shade. I think this will be also very, very beautiful. So this is the first time I'm trying at NARS lipsticks and I am so impressed with the texture, the formula very very pigmented uh, the one I'm wearing though you need this one definitely go find the link down below and pick up this lipstick you will love it and these are the two lipsticks next to each other so you can see the difference can you guys see this is a bit more pinkier um, these are the shades up close this is the one I'm wearing today I picked up some pieces from Mango and I am obsessed. I think Mango is my new favorite. I recently shopped from Zara, but to be honest, the last couple of times I shopped from Zara, I had to return almost everything because I didn't like the fit. I didn't buy much, but the pieces I picked are honestly so good. Everything, the quality, the fit, I really like. So I will do a, a little try on haul for you and show you. Um, so yeah, let's go and do that. The first look has to be probably my favorite, I think. It is the best monochromatic black and white look. I am obsessed. Let me start with the jumper and then I'll show you the full look. So I picked up this really, really beautiful black and white jumper. And I actually saw a, a very similar one from Valentino on My Teresa. And... I actually prefer this one from Mango. It is also very, very soft for a high street jumper. It's not itchy at all. I'm so impressed with the quality of this jumper, honestly. Uh, compared to Zara jumpers that I have, this feels very soft and uh, uh, like nicer. <laughs> so this is how it fits on the side. It's slightly baggy. I got it in a medium and I think the medium is perfect. It's not... To be honest, I could have gone a size down, but I like more baggier 
um, jumpers and this on its own with a pair of leggings you can tuck it in leggings or jeans and it will look really cool as well and um, then the leggings you saw yesterday I showed you they might have some Yoshi hair now he's everywhere <laughs> that's why I shouldn't wear black leggings at home isn't this the best coziest most comfortable fall look ever. I am so obsessed. It is very easy, but it looks very high-end. There are so many other designers apart from Valentino that do similar black and white um, jumpers. I guess they're quite trendy now. I just love this look so much. Actually, I'm, I'm getting a bit hot now because today is <laughs> a bit warm, so I have to take this off in a bit. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you the full look with a uh, comfortable pair of um, loafers um, and these leggings. Oh yeah, the leggings as well are new. I love them. I'm always on the hands for a good pair of leggings and these are great they're very black they suck you in i got mine in size small i always size down in leggings because i like them to <laughs> uh, you know i recently did a huge clear out of my wardrobe i chucked away so many old clothes i donated seven bin bags to charity as well um so yeah it was a huge clear out and one of the jumpers that i got rid of was my one of my most favorite and most worn jumpers and it was very similar to this one almost identical so when I saw this one on the manga website I was like yes <laughs> this is exactly what I'm looking for I knew I won't be able to find the exact same as my old one but I, I was looking for something very similar and this was the closest I could find and it is even better so yeah I love that this new one is a slightly lighter fabric uh, it is a very light knit and it's asymmetric and I find this shape a very flattering and also slimming. Um, it elongates the body as well. So let me show you. This is the total look. These leggings I also wore recently in my Chanel 21k shopping vlog and many of you hated that I styled them with um, my dad sandals. <laughs> So I wanted to show you how they look with a pair of MS boots on <laughs> or pointy shoes will look really nice with this style of leggings. So these are, they're not exactly leggings. They feel like leggings, but can you guys see how they close? There is a zipper as well. So they're more like a trouser um, on the top here. And they're so flattering. I got size medium. They're true to size. There might be some Yoshi hair. Um, but yeah, very flattering. They're not see-through. I love the fit. So with these go with your normal size. All right, guys. So this is the next look. Again, two new items. We have this beautiful green cardigan. Let me show you up close. I love the mix of colors. There is some baby blue as well. And look, it matches my green trendy perfectly. So let me come close so you can see the buttons as well. They're gold. Let me show you like this as well. They're gold buttons. Is it focusing? Yes. I think it's such a sweet little cardigan. Again, perfect for fall. It is not too thick. I got mine in a large. I like to go a size up in cardigans because I like them a bit more baggy and oversized and slightly longer as well. So it covers my bum, as you can see, and the jeans are also new. These jeans, you can see I'm a bit obsessed with split everything, split leggings, split jeans. But I found these amazing jeans from Zara. I'm not normally a huge fan of Zara jeans, but these fit really nice. I love the wash and they have a raw hem, as you can see. So let me go back so you can see the full look. I paired the look with a pair of loafers again, but you can wear ankle boots if it's a bit chilly. <laughs> I love pairing green tops or cardigans with um, denim. I think the colors really complement each other. Um, I love this combo. Just wanted to show you that you can also belt the cardigan and I think it looks so, so nice with a nice chunky thicker belt. 
um, love it. I love it built. It's the same jeans, just added a Chanel belt and it looks really cool because it's like with gold buttons and my belt is with gold as well. So, love it. Okay, so I think this is the last look that I want to show you. Let me actually go back so you can see the full look. I am obsessed with this poncho. It is a poncho. It is open on the side. This side as well. <laughs> um, I'm not wearing anything else underneath, so I'm not going to turn too much. Uh, but I got this from Zara. This is not Mango. This is another Zara find. I really like it. It is quite warm, um, so if it's a bit chilly outside, you can layer underneath, you can put something cashmere or maybe a thermal top underneath to keep you warm. Um, but it's quite a like thick fabric and it's not itchy at all, it's quite soft. It is a lovely off-white colour and again asymmetric. I love this shape for knitwear, I think it's so flattering. So this is how I styled it with the same jeans with the slit on the front and a pair of boots. These are the same Hermes sock boots. I think they look lovely and a pop of color, my trendy again. So yeah, this is a, the full look. Let me come closer so you can see it better. Obsessed with this poncho, you need this. It is so nice, but it actually looks even better when you belt it. So let me do that now, because I think you'll love it even more. Pull it up a little bit love it love it this will also look really nice with the leggings from mango both the stirrup ones and the split leggings it will be such a nice look as well just simple black and white it will look very very elegant i haven't forgotten about the ms cell i'm gonna change and tell you more about the ms cell now <laughs> So this is my little tower of shoes from yesterday and I picked up a few more items, um, like smaller accessories. So there will definitely be a haul, but let me tell you more about the Hermes sale and what I think about it. Hi again, it is another day as you can probably tell by the way I look. <laughs> I'm all dressed up and a full face of makeup because I just finished filming a Chanel unboxing and I'm traveling in a couple of hours. So I wanted to uh, film as many videos as I can and last night while I was showing you the boxes, that's the last thing you saw from yesterday. So I'm finishing it today instead because I know many of you are probably waiting to hear more about the AMS sale. I also posted a little bit about the Hermes sale on my Instagram stories the other day and I received hundreds and hundreds of messages. So I'm gonna answer your questions now. <laughs> By the way, let me put you on a tripod. It will be easier because I'll be here for a while talking to you about the Hermes sale and my hand is already hurting. So yeah, it will be easier, hold on. Okay, that's better now, perfect. You're on a tripod. Okay, so the most common question was how do we access the sale? This was the first ever sale, MS sale here in London. And the answer is, I personally got an invitation directly from Hermes. So the sale will be held for a week, I believe. And the first three days are reserved for clients. I've spoken to so many people and I think Hermes sent those invitations to all their clients. Everyone who's registered at Hermes, shopped at Hermes, it doesn't matter if it's the Sloan Street Boutique or Bond Street Boutique, received an invitation. At least this is the impression I'm under because I spoke, as I mentioned, to many people and they're all clients um, of the boutiques here in London so they all got the same invitation as me and it was saying that the private sale is starting from the 26th and you would be able to access you'll be sent a registration link and you would have to select a time slot however MS, I think, sends slightly different emails, invitations to some of their big spenders, VIP clients. Because I know two people who are big, big VIPs at MS Bond Street, and they received an invitation saying that the private sale is starting on the 25th instead. So, <laughs> I guess they had access one day before all of us who are not big big spenders at MS. I'm sure many people had no idea that MS 
even goes on sale but I knew that Hermes has done sales before in Paris, in Germany, in Munich, I know. Um, so I knew that Hermes goes on sale but this was the first ever sale in London. So once I received my email to register, I followed the link, I selected a time slot and then uh, when you fill in your details they will send you a QR code and that's how you access the sale. The sale was held at the uh, Kensington Pavilion. It is so beautiful, you saw when I vlogged, it, it is such a beautiful location. My time slot was 12.30 to... Yeah, 1.30 to 4.30, so I went an hour early to queue up because I knew if I go at 1.30 there will already be a huge queue and I went there an hour early, so I waited for an hour. There was a lot of security and there were two queues before you could even get in. So security was checking our emails and IDs to make sure you're the same person who's registered and then when they let you in, before you can get into the actual pavilion, there is another shorter queue. They will scan your QR code there and they will ask you to leave your handbag and your jacket and just take your wallet and they give you one of those um, uh, see-through um, lanyards that you put on your neck and then you're able to get in. After you go in, the first thing you see is ties, men's ties. There were tons and tons of ties, all colors, and the prices were really good. I believe, I don't look at any ties, but I believe the prices of the ties were between 75 and 85 pounds. On the right side, there is a, another huge separate room with shoes and there is another queue and I wanted to definitely go check out the shoes first because I heard from one of my friends uh, who went the day before, um, she's one of the VIP clients uh, so she was able to go before everyone else. <laughs> um, I heard that um, the shoe sale was really really great so I wanted to check out the shoes, I went there Oh my god, guys, it was shoe heaven. Everything was so discounted. Unfortunately, they don't allow you to take any pictures or videos. I will insert some pictures of shoes I tried on. I took I took some pictures to show my mom because I couldn't decide and I was FaceTiming her because uh, they only let you pick one pair of orange sandals. And I really wanted at least three. I really wanted to score an exotic pair of orange sandals and they had ostrich, they had crocodile, they had fur orange sandals, they had really nice colors like bright colors. Uh, they didn't have any classics, they didn't have the black, tan or white orange uh, but they had all the other colors and I actually saw my one of my favorite pairs that I have the uh, fuchsia pink ones that I bought last year the suede ones they had them on sale and they were I think under 200 pounds so yeah it wasn't nice seeing that <laughs> they also had the blue ones that I have as well as current stock they had shoes that I saw at the boutique a few weeks ago when I visited and everything was so cheap you are only allowed to buy six pairs of shoes and one pair of orange sandals so I'll show you some pictures of the shoes I tried on unfortunately I wasn't able to take any videos or pictures however I found some on Instagram so I will insert other people's pictures pictures that I found from the sale. I found them on Instagram so you can kind of get an idea of how these sales look. It was crazy busy. To be very honest, I don't even know why they had these time slots because once you're in, you can stay all day long. There isn't a certain time you're allowed in. I uh, My slot was 1.30 to 4.30. They don't check, they can't kick you out. So I was browsing until I think 7 p.m. They had all the classic shoes, they had Paris loafers, they had the Kelly loafers, they also had many of the classic um, H sneakers, they had uh, the Pegas pop sneakers which were very popular, they had boots, they had my soft boots guys, oh my god. They had the same khaki green boots that I tried on in a vlog, they were £200, I was like no. 
way <laughs> they also had men's by the way so they had men's shoes women's shoes ready to wear men's ready to wear and ladies ready to wear i initially picked two items a cardigan and a coat however i ended up leaving them behind i thought i don't really need them um i went a bit crazy at one point i grabbed so many items and, and then i had to stop and think do i really need these things you definitely get carried away when you see sale and when you see how good the prices are so to be honest i'm glad i had to queue up almost two hours to pay because I had time <laughs> by the time I got to the till I had time to really think if I needed those items and I left so many behind and I'm glad I did so as I mentioned the queue to pay is ridiculous um, but then there is another room after the ready to wear by the way the ready to wear was super discounted there were t-shirts for 80 pounds 75 pounds for a t-shirt. They had many of the knitted tops and cardigans with the silk panels. They were very beautiful. They had beautiful cashmere coats from £5,000 reduced to £1,000. Um, it was really good sale. Then there was another room. Oh my god, no way, my battery is flashing again. Okay, let me hurry up. So there was another room with all the silks, silk scarves, twillies. You were allowed, I think, five twillie scarves. They had the cashmere scarves. I took a picture of me in the mirror. I will insert it here. And you can see the rail behind me. This was just one rail of silk scarves. There was probably 10 more. It was insane. At one point I gave up. I, I was like, no, I can't browse scarves anymore. I, it was too much. Also, I picked up a twilly that I took a picture of as well, but I ended up leaving that behind, although it was very beautiful. I don't really have a bag that would match these colors, so I thought I would leave it behind. The twillies was 75 pounds. The scarves were, the machine washable scarves were 190 and the hand wash scarves were, silk scarves were 175 pounds. Then uh, there was a lot of hats, fedora hats, caps, um, they had um, straw hats, they also had a home wear section with cashmere blankets, pillows. I didn't see any of the classic H uh, pillows or blankets, but they had very beautiful colours, um, very nice neutrals as well they had beach towels they had home towels they had vases from their home section they had the little porcelain trays um what else did i see they had baby hermes they had little baby shoes that were adorable as well i didn't really check the prices i wasn't interested in anything from the home oh my camera died again so i had to wait for it to charge a little bit and they also had bracelets like jewelry pieces uh, they didn't have any pine jewelry <laughs> however they had custom jewelry pieces and they had uh, leather exotics um, they had enamel bracelets, all the H bracelets, the click H bracelets were already gone. I guess all the H bracelets, because they told me they had some H bracelets. I guess they were sold to the VIPs the day before. Um, they also had some leather bracelets, they had um, exotic Kelly bracelets, double toe Kelly bracelets, um, CDC, the thicker original CDC bracelets, they were... Um, reduced from i think 900 something pounds i think 950 maybe whatever's the original price down to 450 pounds the enamel bracelets were about 200 200 something pounds um then they had necklaces and earrings i didn't look at those so i can't really tell you much um and I also wanted to check out belts, but they were already gone as well when I went. Uh, they also said they had belts. I found some pictures again on Instagram. They had the Kelly belts, uh, but in a pop of color, they didn't have any of the classic ones. I would definitely go to the AMS sale again if I ever get invited. If there is another sale, I would definitely go again. Um, I wish I could buy more shoes because the shoes were honestly the best. So. 
I can't wait to show you what I picked up. There will definitely be a huge AMS haul uh, coming, but I'll film that after I'm back from my holiday, so stay tuned. There is a lot of exciting content coming. There will be a Chanel unboxing with a new handbag. There will also be an airport shopping vlog coming from Heathrow, your favorite vlogs, guys. I know you enjoy those, so I'm super excited to see what's at Heathrow. And yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go get ready uh, for my travel because <laughs> I still haven't um, finished packing and I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.